All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Friday, the 14th day of June 2013. Um, let's go through the results from today. Okay. Um, it took us 26 minutes and four trades to reach our two points this morning. All right. I wish we would have stopped then, but we kept going. Uh, our results this morning, we had plus four ticks. I'm, I'm sorry, plus six ticks on the soybeans, plus two ticks on the Russell, plus two ticks. Um, plus three ticks on gold and minus eight ticks on crude oil. All right, not a big up day, unfortunately. I was trying to hit three hundred dollars a day average. Unfortunately, we didn't get the three hundred bucks today. But so far in the month of June, we are up two thousand eight hundred and fifteen dollars per contract. All right, our goal is to try to get up above this level right here. But you know, we're not going to do anything ridiculous to try to get there. We're just going to take the trades that we take and see where we end up. Being green at the end of every day is what we want okay and you can see all the green here every green well these days right here the yellow ones we were either positive or break even but we did not reach our two points on those days on that day positive or break even did not reach our two points on this day we were minus eighty dollars per contract that was our one down day so far this year we were down on february seventh and that's it all of january we were up that's where things stand so far in the month. Okay. Um, hopefully we'll get, hopefully we'll get some uh, some good days in there next week, and then we'll be right on, right on track to a, a new monthly high. All right. Now let's see the trades that we took. I am looking in here in crude oil. We didn't have much follow through in the morning session today. Okay. Not a lot of follow through in the morning session. Um, on a lot of trades, if I'd have taken four ticks profit every time I move my stop to break even, you know, we'd have been we'd have been in a much better position right now. But a lot of the trades went four ticks. I moved my stop to break even, and it came back and took me out and changed directions. Um, this one right here was the first trade of the day. I shorted a down close below the uh, below the weekly trading zone. I'm not below the weekly trading zone, below the uh, trend line, and it went four or five, six ticks in profit. And I moved my stop to break even, and it came back out, took me out of break even. Um, Hey, wait a minute, I forgot to tell you guys something. If you've not taken a free trial with us, go to www.cfrn.net forward slash apply, sign up for the free trial. In the free trial, you get access to everything that you see here. You get access to our indicators. You get access to the live trading room for five business days. You get access to everything, um, everything that we do. You get access to it. So if you want to take the free trial, go to cfrn.net forward slash apply. If you've already taken the free trial or if you're on the free trial, and you want to become a partner, um, send us a quick email at support at cfrn.net, and we'll get you we'll get you all the information you need to take care of to uh, to become that partner. Okay, we had a good partners meeting last night. I I think you know last night's partners meeting went till about quarter of twelve, and and I think it was good quality stuff right up to the end. I think you know sometimes we get in there and we ramble a little bit, but last night I think we got right in there and and you know there were a lot of questions and we went over we went over some some good stuff last night, I think, and if you are a partner, um, we'll, yeah, now that I think about it, if you are a partner, we'll try to get that out there on the website, you know, by the end of the day today, hopefully by tomorrow, okay? Um, the conversion process takes a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the rambling was just starting to kick in there, Frank, and, and somebody pulled the plug. That somebody was me, but I was also the one rambling, so, <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, the down close over here is what we took to take the short. The up close over here is what we, how we got into the long. Now on the up close over here, we got into the long, and then once we had a close up above the MA1, that's when we went to break even. Okay. Um, let's see. We missed a few trades in here. Short right there. We ended up getting break even. Long over here, we ended up getting break even. You see how many of these? That one went four ticks. This one went four ticks. And, you know, well beyond that. Uh, this one was a short trade in here that I missed, a long trade here that I missed that would have failed, a short trade here that I missed that would have won, a short trade here that I took, um, got a break even on, and changed directions in here, a uh, long trade in there that went, no, it went well. This one took forever to took forever to close above the MA1. By the time it closed above the MA1 over here, I still was down in the trade. So I waited until it got just up above the MA1. I'm just up above 
my high entry position and move my stop right to break even, and then it took me out. I was telling everyone, though, I think it's going to go up here to uh, 98.02. Anyway, I took this next one over here, and it stopped me out. Um, that was the last time that I traded on the crude oil this morning. All right, that was crude. Crude just had, on this move up right over here, we had, there would have been a long trade right here and another one right here. Okay, on that move up. Right now, what it looks like is you would draw a trend line from this swing high down the tops. Look for the bullish divergence over here, okay, which we now have, the bullish divergence. Then you would look for an up close above this trend line. All right, that's what you would look for on the crude. Now, let me jump in here to the uh, to the Russell. To the Russell. Um, the Russell right now is giving a short trade. The Russell has a shorting opportunity. It actually had the shorting opportunity right back here. Okay. Um, we had the bearish cross pull away from the BBC, pull back up and test to the BBC with a down close, and bearish divergence with a red cycle down here. I know I said all that really fast, but that's what it is. If that was too fast for you and you really want to know what this is all about, take the free trial. All right. If you've already taken the free trial, then become a partner. Um, we did discuss some good stuff in the partners meeting last night. All right. Now, you see how this didn't put in a lower swing over here? It needs to put in a lower swing before you get a pullback. Otherwise, this is bottoming. Um, and that, and that is the Russell. Um, on the Russell today, we are plus two ticks, right? We, we only took, we took the one trade. We missed this nice trade here. We missed this up here. Um, all this movement here coming down, we missed. I think the ES was going into a zone or something, or maybe I just totally missed it. I don't know. But I did take a short over here, and I got a, t a couple ticks profit on it. It went, I think it went probably six or seven ticks profit, and I got two. Um, I moved my stop to plus a couple of ticks once it once it started moving down. And, hey, I didn't realize she was in here. And that moved down, and there was another opportunity... Was that one? Yeah, there was another opportunity right here to short it. What time is this? 10.49. I was looking for more opportunity over here, but we didn't get it closed down below the trend line. Changed directions. There was a long opportunity right here, up into the weekly trading zone. Then, this was during the break, but there was a nice shorting opportunity right here. Um, this was a perfect a perfect setup right here. This is, uh, this, <laughs> this is by the book right here. We got your bullish cross, price pulled away, price pulled back, tested the BBC and gave an up close with bullish divergence and a blue cycle. That is everything you want in the trade right there. Okay. Um, this one over here, same thing, opposite direction. Bearish cross, price pulled away, price pulled back up, tested the BBC and gave a down close. All right. Everything you want. It's as simple as that. Um, you saw that one coming? Excellent. Um, all right, gold. Did we trade gold today? We did trade gold today. We were positive a little bit on gold. Um, let's see. Scroll all the way back here. On the gold, start of the morning was right in here. There was a long trade right here that moved up. There was a follow-up trade right here that didn't have any divergence. Um, came in here, and I drew this box in here. There was a short right back here that I missed, and I drew this box in saying this was bottoming action. And this was actually topping action right up here. I didn't I didn't draw anything up there, but we went through this level right here. I was looking for more opportunity on the short side. It didn't give it. Then it moved up, and it gave us a long trade right in here. I took that long trade, took a little bit of profit. I missed this long trade. I missed this long trade. I missed, um, let's see, I got this one. I'm going to break even on that one. There had to be something else I missed in here. Now, when I say I'm missing these trades, I'm not missing them because I don't want to take them. I'm missing them because I'm doing you know, so many other things all at once. If you guys are focusing on the markets, then you should be getting these trades. Okay, if you're focusing on a single market, or two markets, or three markets. Now, there's a short here, a long here. This would have been a break-even trade. This probably would have been a few ticks profit. This one here would have been, you know, probably 10 ticks profit had I taken those trades. This one here was a break-even trade. Um, this would have been, you know, some kind of profit as it, uh, as it went up into the dynamic resistance. Um, this one here would have been some kind of profit. And that was it. That was it.
Okay, the trades that I actually took, that one, break even, um, that one, break even, that one, a little bit of profit. And that's how we ended gold this morning, with a little bit of profit. All right, soybeans. Where did we end soybeans? Pretty good. Okay. Um, in the soybeans this morning, this was our first trade over here. When I took this trade, I was saying watch for it to get down to 1506. There's a lot of room down to 1506. And where did it go? 1506. All right, but I took this trade right here, and I took some profit on that trade. I think, what did I take? Six ticks profit on that trade. Um, I missed the follow-up right here. I talked about it, but I missed it. And I took this one over here, and I ended up getting a break-even on that after it went four ticks in favor. Um, I missed this trade over here, and I took this one right at the end of the morning session, and I ended up taking a break-even on that. All right. Now, this line right here, this 1516 and the 1506 level down below. The 1516 at the beginning of the week, that was an important level, and it still is, it seems like. Um, we were well above it this morning. <laughs> if, you, if you were really, I'm not sure what that means, Jerry. Um, but I missed this one. I don't know if you got that one, or if you got this one, or if you got that one. But anyway, the spot to short was right there. And 15.06 is what I had said originally. Textbook trade at 11.12. Yeah, where it pulled back down, tested the BBC. Actually, was it this up close right here was the spot to get long? What was I looking at? I don't know, this up close here was the spot to get long, but I missed all this anyway. Um, it was off the BBC with an up close with bullish divergence in a blue cycle. So that was a textbook trade right there. Okay. And, and it moved up. And there was another trade right in here. Because we had red on the cycle, you needed the up-close above the trend line. That's what I was looking for. Now, I got into this, I think I got into it here, on this up-close right here. Right there. Isn't that right? Something like that. I don't know. I know I got to break even on the trade. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh... It moved back down after that, right? We got a bearish cross, came back up. This was during the break, or actually when Dwayne was talking a little while ago. We got a bearish cross, pull away, pull back up, test of the BBC with a with a down close right here on this bar. Okay? Now you see where my cursor is. Down close on that bar, it just goes straight down. You see you had bearish divergence between the green line and the cycle, and the cycle is red. That's a short right there. So the short is right there. Alright, it's really pretty straightforward. Once you know what you're looking for, it's it just jumps right out at you. Okay, that just may take you a little while to learn what you're looking for. Um, that was that one, the NQ. I need to make my phone silent. There. Okay, the the NQ. I didn't place any trades on the NQ today. I think I pointed out a few. A few spots. We'll just go back and see where those were. I mean, you can see in here, whenever there's divergence down here, just look up here and see if there was an opportunity. And most of the time, you're going to find one. Okay? Most of the time, you're going to find that opportunity. You know, a short here, a short here. Um, in this move down, there's a short here. There's actually a short right in here, too. All right, that went about four ticks, which would put my stop at break even. But there's a short in here. There's another short right in here. That would have went about four ticks and put my stop at break even. Um, let's find the trades that I had highlighted if I did highlight any. No, it doesn't look like I did. I thought I had said something about this one right here, but it doesn't look like I put an ellipse on it. That was it. I wasn't paying much attention to the NQ this morning. Um, I had enough <laughs> enough work trying to uh, trying to keep up with the trades that wouldn't follow through. Um, on copper. We placed a couple of trades on copper this morning. We got break even on both of them. All right, right here we went short and we got a break even and it changed directions and right over here we went long and again we got a break even. There was a spot to short it right here. I missed. And another spot to short it right over here that I missed. And we put in a lower swing. We would have needed a down close right here. Would have been the next spot to short. 
I would have had my stop at break even after four ticks profit. Change directions, bullish divergence, all that stuff. Right here was a long. Again, stop at break even after four ticks profit. And it followed up because it put in a higher swing. You could have taken this one right here as well. Okay, that was copper this morning. Um, what have I missed so far? The ES. The ES is the only one I have left. All right. So, Frank, you got a bunch of those on the copper. Good. Um, on the ES, the ES actually had a lot of movement this morning. Um, we rolled to the new contract today, and the ES had a good amount of movement this morning. So let me see the trades that I highlighted on the ES. Um, in here, we were looking for an up close, which was right here. Okay, right here off the BBC was the up close. Um, the up close above the trend line. You needed the up close above the trend line because the cycle was red. Okay, so that went up into the weekly trading zone. Amazing that that weekly trading zone is good on the new contract. It bounced off the zone, got a bearish cross, started coming back down. In here is where the short was, okay? It was followed up by another one here and another one here. Changed directions, and it had a long right in here. So there was a lot of action here on the ES today. Um, one, two, three, four, five possible trades in the live trading room on the ES this morning. Yeah, I know. The ES, what is that thing? You know, I don't, I don't typically put the ES up. Well, I have the ES showing all the time. It's right in the middle of everything. Um, but the it, it normally doesn't have that much volatility, so we don't get that many trade setups on it. But this morning, it did, and we went through it when they had when the trade setups were there. We were going through them. Okay. Um, does everybody see over here on the on the copper? You had your bullish cross price pulled away from the BBC, right in here, pulled back down, tested it, gave an up close, and down here you're looking for the bullish divergence with the blue cycle on the up close. So the entry is on this bar right here. All right. There was another one right here on this bar. Same thing, bullish divergence. I moved my stop to break even after four ticks. Now the follow-up trade, if we did not put in a higher swing, if we did not close above this level right here, if we did not close up there, then we wouldn't look to follow it up with this trade. But we did, in fact, close up there, so we followed it up. All right. That is that. Um, let's see. The That's it. That's all we have, guys. Um, I think if, if you... Uh, what was I saying? If you are not a partner and you want to become a partner, send us a quick email at support at cfrn.net and we'll send you the information and whatever offer we have going on right now. If you are on the free trial and you want to become a partner and you don't know how, again, send us send us a quick email at support at cfrn.net or you can just give me a call. If anybody has any questions, you can always just call me or give me send us an email. All right, um, you can call me at nine four nine four two three six four six four nine four nine four two three six four six four. Okay. All right. With that, I am going to wrap up the recording, and I think.